If I ask about Ayurveda, I get lot of unanimous answer that Ayurveda is an ancient science. There is no side effects. It take long duration to cure the disease. The taste of medicine is not palatable, and there are food restrictions that is patyahara. Like this, the list goes on. But all these things are not true in many cases. For example, Ayurveda has no side effects. It is a false judgment. If you take medicines without any guidance from a qualified doctor, definitely you get after effects. Sometimes it may be fatal. Some arishtas and asavas are not recommended to the patients who are suffering from ulcer, diabetes, gastritis, and so on. Likewise, grida preparations, that is medicated ghee, should not be taken by the people who have low digestive power. If you do so, it will create ama, that is toxins, in our body, which result in causing diseases. Second common myth or mistake done by everyone is using oils that is thaila for any kind of joint or muscle pains but applying oil for every pain is not advisable sometimes it aggravate pain and swelling in the joints look most of them are fascinated in the beauty thick and long hair white and clear skin lean body nature people think beauty lies in this so called stereotypes if you see an advertisements with a tag line it is ayurvedic natural or herbal and no side effects people run behind without any second thought for example hair loss most of the people visit doctors asking for hair oil there are many reason behind hair loss including physical and mental health of a person sometimes it may be due to hormonal changes undernourishment vitamin deficiencies dehydration anemia stress thyroid problems Applying oil without knowing the cause of hair loss is a stupidity. There are lots of Ayurvedic hair oils and other cosmetic products available in the market. Please don't be fooled by seeing the advertisements. There are hundreds of oils are mentioned in Ayurveda. Please use only under doctor's advice. Neeli Pringadi is an Ayurvedic oil which gives good results in hair growth, but it should not be used by people suffering with sinusitis. The third big misconception or myth in the society is about food restrictions or patya ahara in Ayurveda. Once you start Ayurvedic medicines, it advises to say no to your favorite food items such as chicken, beef, mutton, spicy, fish, tea, coffee. This long list make people unwillingness to follow Ayurveda. Ayurveda advises only simple and easy rules to be followed. For example, if you are suffering from cold, sneezing and cough, and you are supposed to avoid eating ice creams, cold juices and avoid bath. This is to not for a long period. These are the very common things followed by everyone. Like this, Ayurveda also advises simple rules only according to the condition of the patient. Ayurveda not only restricts in eating non-veg foods for every diseases but also it recommends to take meat soups meat preparations for certain diseases the fourth misconception is doing massage for pain the pain may be due to any injuries dislocation or any other underlying pathologies this kind of need may have annoyed most of the doctors sometimes patient may need rest for those if you do massage the symptoms will aggravate so please understand ayurvedic treatment means it is not doing only massage ayurveda has a huge treatment procedures panchakarma is the five main treatment procedures in ayurveda this science explains the procedures very elaborately who should do a panchakarma treatments and who should not their complications what are the diets and regimens to be followed during panchakarma Oil massage or abhyanga in Ayurveda has lot of benefits but some are contraindicated to the massage if someone is afflicted with fever indigestion or after panchakarma treatments doing massage will adversely affect the health of the patient all these facts are clearly mentioned in the ancient text named ashtanga hridaya charaka samhita and susruta samhita I will explain another example to understand the magnitude and significance of authentic ayurvedic treatments. Virejana or purgation that the common people says inducing diarrhea by intake of medicine which clears the body. It is one of the panchakarma treatments. It is contraindicated to the people who are suffering from bleeding disorders, weak digestive power, fever, 
rhinitis, weak people and alcoholic. The fifth myth or misconception is about diagnosis. Diagnosis plays a major role in the treatment. Without doing correct diagnosis, you cannot provide right treatment. Though Ayurveda is an ancient science, there are many diagnostic techniques used those times such as analyzing one's pulse that is Nadi Pariksha, analyzing one's doshas whether it is Vada, Pitta or Kaba, by Darshana that is inspecting or observing one's body parts, Sparshana, palpating, Prashna, questioning the patients about their history, symptoms, physical and mental state of them. As medical science get updated, doctors use MRI, CT, X-rays, ultrasound scans, various blood, urine, stool examinations as diagnostic tools. Some people have a misconception that Ayurveda doctors has no knowledge in modern diagnostic techniques. But the fact is Ayurveda doctors are well versed in modern diagnostic techniques. So here onwards don't raise your eyebrows if any Ayurvedic doctors recommend any of the above diagnostic tools. Next sixth myth is regarding medicines. Ayurvedic medicines contains only herbs, kitchen products such as ginger, garlic, pepper, turmeric and coriander. Obviously, all these things have medicinal properties, but it is not an ultimate medicine in Ayurveda. Ayurvedic medicines include herbal ingredients, chemical compounds like mercury, arsenic, sulfur and metals like gold, silver and animal products too. Next, a million dollar doubtful question is, does Ayurveda doctors do surgeries? You must know one thing that the father of surgery is Acharya Shushruda, is a great Ayurvedic physician. Centuries before itself, Ayurvedic physicians did surgeries. Various surgical instruments was there. There are lot of myths and doubts regarding Ayurveda. Only few are discussed here. The last doubt about Ayurveda in this video is, do Ayurveda have separate branches or specialization like modern medicine such as uh, uh, pediatrics, gynecology, surgery, ortho, general medicine and so on? The answer is yes. Ayurveda has 8 branches. First one is Kaya Chigilsa, general medicine, treatment of metabolic errors and disorders and systemic disorders. Next is Bala or Kamara Bhritya or Bala Chigilsa, pediatrics or treatment of children and health problems and diseases occurring in children. Third one is Graha Chigilsa, demonology, treatment of idiopathic disorders, diseases caused by unknown, unidentified causes like spirits, demons are included under Graha Chigilsa. Likewise, psychosomatic diseases are also included. The fourth one is Udvanga Chigilsa or Shalakya Tandra, treatment of diseases afflicting ear, nose, tongue, throat, head, eyes, ENT or ophthalmology in modern medicine. The fifth branch is Shalya Tandra, surgery, treatment of diseases using blunt and sharp instruments, sutures, methods like excision, incision etc, use of alkalis, fire and bloodletting etc. Sixth one is Dhamstra Chigilsa or Toxicology, treatment of diseases or conditions occurring due to bites and stings of animals, insects, etc. and effect of various types of poisons and toxins. Jara Chigilsa or Rasayana, Geriatrics in Modern Science, treatments of old age related problems and diseases, anti-aging medicine, immunomodulators, rejuvenation treatment. The last and eighth branch is Vaji Garna, Aphrodisiac. Medicines and methods used to increase sexual capabilities, potency and virility. We discussed 8 myths or misconceptions in Ayurveda. Now I just concise all the information in a nutshell. First one is Ayurveda has no side effects. Next, using oils for all kinds of pain is a false. The third one is Ayurveda recommends many food restrictions that is Patyahara for all the diseases. Then, massage is only or major treatment in Ayurveda. Fifth one is Ayurvedic doctors don't have knowledge in modern diagnostic tools such as MRI, CT, X-ray, ultrasounds and other blood investigations. Next myth we discussed is Ayurvedic medicines contains only herbs. The second last myth is surgeries are not done in Ayurveda. The final misconception discussed in this video is Ayurveda has no specialization or branches like modern medicine. Hope that the misconception or myths that have existed so far have changed. Watch and share our videos to know authentic information about Ayurveda. Thank you.